Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, for those of you that have been following me, oh, there goes the fan. Okay, that was the inverter fan kicking off right when I was talking, so I'm back. Anyway, you all know how excited I was when uh, the EP Ever uh, 40 amp controller came with preset lithium iron phosphate settings, and I was all excited that it was uh, preset and didn't have to do any adjustments, but after running it now for a while, I've decided to go back to the user settings. And I'm going to show you what that looks like and what's working well for me now. And as you can see, like right now, it's a little cloudy. Got 13.7 uh, amps coming in off of this top string of five 100 watt panels. And if I look at the other one, the second string's doing roughly the same. But let's go through these settings. And I'm going to show you why and tell you why I went, uh, took it off of the uh, LifePo 4 setting. So I'm going to go slow th through this and give you a chance to look at it because I know a lot of you are using the same EP Ever charge controller that I am. And I get a lot of comments and questions about that. So let's go right into it. So I've set it back to user, as you can see, put in the size of my battery bank 600 amp hours temperature compensation coefficient zero just going to toggle through these give you just a second or two to look at them in case any of you want to pause uh, for your settings so here's what i've done is you drop that equalized charge to 14.2 and I've changed my boost charge to 14.2 as well. Changed my float charge to 13.6. On the preset lithium settings, the boost charge was 14.5. You could not change that. Boost reconnect, 13.2. That's an important setting after it drops down in a cycle below 13.2. It'll allow you to have a regular cycle day the next day. If you never drop below that, it'll just hold it back at that float the next day of 13.6. Uh, All these are pretty standard. And here's what. Just turn your equalize time off so you're not really trying to equalize these lithium batteries. Right now I'm just going to leave that boost time on 14.2 for 10 minutes. I may kick it up to about 20 to 30 minutes over time uh, to see how it does. But right now I just want to keep it down at uh, a short period of time at 14.2. And then that's, that's the entire user settings. So as happy as I was with that preset lithium setting uh, being installed in the new EP Ever charge controller I got, uh, as it was getting up to 14.5 on both of the controllers, uh, and then I could get a surge, just a slight surge, uh, my inverter would alarm, and what it was doing, it would momentarily turn off, and, uh, and that would cause like my refrigerator to go into uh, defrost mode, even though it was only disconnected for one second, maybe, before the... A uh, charge controller could catch up and, and knock that voltage down. But anyway, I'm going to go back with the 14.2 the as the bulk, 13.6 as the float. And that way I can avoid my system ever alarming. Uh, it was doing that in, often enough to where it was becoming a nuisance. 14.5, unfortunately, was not working for me. Uh, Nothing ever happened drastically, but I, you know, I didn't like uh, that alarm being triggered, so I'm knocking it back down. And 14.2 is just absolutely fine for uh, uh, these settings on here. Like I said, that 14.5 was just a little bit too much. So uh, just for some of you too, uh, you're gonna if you don't do the uh, what you want to, you got to set the boost charge 
before you set that equalized charge, even though the equalized does not matter, but you will get a parameter error if you try to set the equalized charge first and then the bulk. So do the bulk first, just match the equalized charge with that. And then when you get to, uh, and there's, a, as you see, the boost 14.2, float 13.6. And then when you get to the uh, equalized time, just turn that equalized time off. So all you're going to do is take it up to 14.2. That's all I'm going to do. Your, your system may vary. Do what you need to do uh, to tweak it to your specifications and what works good. But for me, that 14.5 preset, unfortunately, was just a little too high for these batteries. Or and mainly that charge controller uh wasn't quick enough to on a surge to knock it back down so just for one or two seconds like i said i would uh send off an alarm to my inverter so uh just wanted to do a real quick update on that i know a lot of you were looking at these uh ep ever charge controllers and uh that's what i found out so i wanted to share it with you guys all right have a great day catch you later Aloha.